I'm having a good time campaigning everywhere. My wife and I just got back from five days in Iowa where we were treated very well by the press uh, and everywhere we went. Great events, great attendance. I felt like the proverbial two-headed cow. Everybody wanted to come and see us like at the Iowa State Fair. And uh, next uh, next week we're going to California for uh, three days. So i got to be all over the place. New Hampshire is uh, my first love and we're here three or four days uh, most every week ever since uh, March of uh, this past year. Uh, so we've uh, been here more than I think any other uh, candidate uh, and um, you know, I love uh, I love it up here. I'm a New England Republican, uh, the Republican Party here. The people and rank and file, not the state committee because they're a Trump organization, but the rank and file, very very sympathetic, uh, very sort of broad gauge and well grounded. So uh, I'm right at home here, and I do enjoy campaigning and I'm grateful to the people of New Hampshire. The divide in the country uh, has been a long time coming. I think it started in the 1994 election, and the Republicans and the Democrats have been getting more partisan ever since. It's partly gerrymandering. It's partly people are obsessed with getting reelected, so they like to demonize the other party so they can raise money and get reelected. Uh, and now uh, it's it's a uh, ideological divide as well as just a partisan divide: the D's versus the R's. Uh, and uh, Mr. Trump is a very high-profile figure and obviously controversial, so a lot of families I know couldn't even have Thanksgiving dinner together uh, last year. Obviously, that's way more divided than we should ever be. Uh, and I'm hopeful that uh, with a new administration, whenever it comes, you know, we'll get back to the old-fashioned way of just rolling up our sleeves and getting down to work to solve the people's problems. And there are going to be problems aplenty uh, a few years from now. There's going to be the big climate problem and the North Pole melting. And we're going to have to get together with many other countries to stop that from happening. And there's going to be all the impact of automation. And the United States, 10 years from now, is going to have lost 20% of the jobs we now have, so we have to spread the benefits of uh, uh, post-high school education, and it has to be at no cost to the displaced workers. But I think that would be easy to pay for. It would be about one-third of 1% 1 of a state budget. So I think that's easily done. It's just going to require a lot of work. And if we all get together and pitch in to solve problems like that, pretty soon we'll forget uh, how irritated we were with each other in the past and how we couldn't even have Thanksgiving lunch together.